We've all been there before, right? Your smoke detector tells you at two, three, four in the morning that it needs a new battery. And do you ever notice this only happens when you're sleeping for the most part? How is that? It never happens in the middle of the day we can go and get some batteries and replace them. Well, the basic idea here is that the smoke detector is telling you the battery is low, right? Well, electricity is produced by a chemical reaction inside the battery. And like most chemical reactions, as temperatures lower, the chemical reaction slows down. And so what tends to happen is the battery is right there on the edge. It's just about to hit the point where the detector knows it has to alert you it needs a new battery. And then the temperature starts to drop. And it drops in your house about the same time that it's going to drop overnight outside. So our overnight low temperatures typically occur around 3, 4, 5, or 6 in the morning and your temperature in your house tends to follow the same pattern. So it'll be the warmest in the afternoon with incoming solar radiation, and then it starts to come down even just by a few degrees. A lot of us set our thermometers or our um, uh, thermostats a little bit lower overnight, and that's when temperatures drop enough to set off that alarm, and the battery, battery chemistry is part of that. So that's basically why it almost never happens during the day is because the temperature drops in your house just enough your thermostat might be set at 62, and there you go, it's chirping at you at 3 in the morning. Guys, this is an elaborate way of me reminding you that uh, it's good to do it if you can before that happens. A lot of people use the time change yeah. to get there, but there is a reason, and it's not just a sick joke, that it tends to happen while you're sleeping. I really appreciate your fancy new thermostat, but your yes. old school alarm clock. <laughs> yes, I have a, I have a yeah. nest, yeah. and then whatever this is, um, <laughs> both together. That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> well, I'm one of those people, I don't know about you guys. Uh, well, probably not you, Amanda, because you have a space heater in here. I'm a, I'm a sleep on the chilly side person. Yes, I, same. So, yeah, me too. So that is, I think, part of it. In theory, if you kept your, your house the same temperature all the time, then th this wouldn't happen, but most people don't.